Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We are exploring the Lake and Faron region at the moment, although it's not necessary. Um, and we're finding quite a few things that we can do. We found tons of Koroks already, and we also found a few shrines. So, let's keep moving. Probably gonna get to the next tower now. And then explore even more. Man, it's nice having a horse to just run through all of this. Oh, and Cass is here as well. I'm gonna leave him for now. And this is a very different looking area over here. I actually kinda like it. Stop. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You're doing this to yourself. What are you doing? Probably need to build up the bond just a little bit more. We're getting there. Oh my goodness, these are big trees. Okay. Just gonna keep following the road. Since that's made very easy. Using a horse. I imagine finding Koroks- Oh, stop, stop, stop. As I was speaking of them. I imagine finding Koroks in all of this is going to be a little bit difficult. Okay. Just going to follow this, I guess. This <laughs> is just going across the river. It is. Wow. Well, there we go. Okay, and there's also some fish in the river that I want to probably get. So let's just drop that in there. All of this is actually really good. I believe we need it. Pretty much all of that for um, increasing the Zora armor, upgrading it. Well, I'm lazy, aren't I? But at least I'm on the road faster. I think we have a split path here, but I'm going to go up this way. Because this is towards the tower. It's pretty high up, though. And I want to avoid rain if I can. So I need to go quickly. Okay. How close am I? Did I pass it? Am I getting further away now? I think I'm getting further away, but that's okay because over here is a stable. Just right here. And whenever there's a stable... Hang on, come on. There's usually a shrine. In this direction. Wait, this is also where mighty bananas grow, so if we needed any of those, this is where they are. But there's a little crack in this wall over here that we can blow up. And here is another shrine. Now if I'm not crazy, I think that there's also, possibly, I might be crazy. Please don't be crazy, please don't be crazy, please don't be crazy. Ah, I was hoping there's a Korok in here as well. Unless it's on the very top, which I don't think I can even get up to because you can't climb the shrine easily. Halt the tilt. So we have these tilting platforms. So we're going to use stasis to get through it without having too much trouble with that though. Let's also get this treasure chest over here. Um, excuse you. 
Knight's Broadsword. With everything up, I guess. Um, there's a lot of unique weapons in here. I guess I can drop the boomerang. It's not really a weapon type that I use. Let's see what type of durability up. Okay. Um, let's move this treasure chest over there. Because we're still going to want to keep that. And let's work out everything else we can do. Just going to get up here like that. Now there's another chest, treasure, tre treasure chest up there. And to get to it, we're going to need to do something a little bit different. So, let's hop onto this one here, this tilting platform. We're going to have this chest drop onto that side at a reasonably quick speed. And then we're going to glide, just like that. And another ancient core, that's good. And that should be all the chests in the shrine, so let's just... This isn't going to work, this isn't going to work, that's not going to work. I'm not sure how well this plan was thought through. Anyway, we can use the chest to, to keep this one held, held down, and we can use stasis to hold this one in place. And get across like that. Well, there we go. Another shrine, another stable. There is a lot of them. I'm probably going to clear up whatever side quests there are in some of them at some point. And even look at all the meals that they have. Although, they're basically not even necessary having other types of meals at this point, so... There's another one there, and a rumor mill. Volume 6. Tracy here, bringing you the latest news and gossip from morning till night. Glowing Blue Bunny. A long time ago, there was a skilled hunter. On the way back from a hunt, he saw a light moving in the darkness. Without hesitation, he fired an arrow towards it. And where it had been, the, uh, he found a bunch of rupees. For, uh, from that day forward, whenever he saw a similar light, he would fire an arrow at it. He always found rupees where his target had been, and he grew quite rich. Well, so the story goes, I bet you think this is just a myth, right? Then what do you say about all the people who claim to have seen a glowing blue bunny in the forest lately? You probably say, Oh, Tracy, thank you for writing Volume 6. Sounds about right. You should say that because the blue bunny is the light the hunter saw. Finding it means finding a lot of rupees. I can't endorse this bit of gossip enough. Tracy's recommendation, five stars. Wait, I don't know how to use a bow and arrow. That really puts a damper on it, on things. Tracy's recommendation, one star. Okay then, change your mind. It's so rude. Uh, anyway, let's head to that tower. I'm gonna just probably walk there on foot, maybe. Although I can just call Andy anyway. To get moving. Oh my goodness, monsters, really? Let's go! Ow! How dare you! Now, this is where the thing is, so I might actually... I know that was, like, the shortest trip with a horse ever, but still. I'm just gonna leave you here. Goodbye for now, my friend. Let's go over this way. Oh, and there's a hearty lizard around here, apparently. They just appear. Oh, and this... I'm pretty sure I haven't taken a picture. No, I have taken a picture of water buffalo. Oh, there we go. Raw prime meat. And I think I'm actually just going to have to climb up this to get to the tower. Just because that's going to be easiest. Okay. Oh, and there's a thing here. Oh, there's a lot of things here. Just a regular electric wizard robe. 
Now this is a very tall tower, so if you don't have enough stamina, I don't think that's going to be your own fault. It's just a tall tower. Oh please! 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 Oh, that was my that was what I realized was going to happen. Ow! Take that! I'm surprised that didn't take out the um the keys. Maybe it did a little bit. Now I also want to move this. I don't think this is a Korok, but I think this is just a little bit of money, possibly. Oh dear, this is going to be difficult. Let me use my border breaker. There's a lot of things around here that are glowing. Probably want to check them all just to make sure I'm not crazy about what's inside of them. There could be a Korok in one of them. Oh my goodness, please let me in. Thank you. Open this chest. You can probably break stone chests if I had to guess. Nope, okay. Let's have a look around at the other ones. Goodbye. Oh, that's keys. How did they not die from my thing before? Anyway. There's quite a few holes in the ground as well, with some hearty radish in that one. Another spot to just warp to if we need hearty radish in the future. Some octa balloons. What was what was around here? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's send this flying if I can. That's good. Goodbye. Oh, this is an updraft here. I never knew that was there, but that would be super useful for climbing the tower. I wish I knew that in previous playthroughs, instead of just climbing up the cliffside or the tower to get higher up and just... You can also use Revali's Gale, of course, so that also works. Is there anything in here? Just a real, real soldier's claymore thing. There's a Korok, Octrok in there. I keep getting Korok and Octrok confused. Which is not good. Now what's underneath that? Just monster parts, I think. Pretty sure. I'm gonna check. Just to make sure I'm not crazy. Oh please, oh please, please actually hit it. There we go. Oh, it's mushrooms. Okay then. Uh, and this one over here. This is probably the last one in this area that I can check. So... That's not a good position to be in. Let's go over here. Okay, please smack it. Send it flying. Make it be golf. Please don't land back down where you were. Oh, another one of these? I wish I paid attention in my first playthrough. This goes all the way up the cliff. Hang on. Um... Hang, 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 hang. Why was I just... Falling. Why was I just falling? This is... This has changed my perspective of this tower. Knowing that those are there now. Also, hearty durians. Appear and grow in this area. So that's good, because it means you can get more infinite food. This fruit's mighty odor has earned it the nickname King of Fruits. It offers immense restorative powers. Dishes cooked with it will temporarily increase your maximum hearts. But that's not the, the thing that's so good about it, though. Gotta check in here. Nothing. Get up. Please go. Oh my goodness. Hearty drones are growing on the tree. And there's also just more stuff around the place. Where's the tower? There it is. I lost the tower for a second there. Just go. Just go. So yeah, this tower's a lot easier than I remembered, because I realized there's more stuff around it that you can use. Oh my goodness. You do need a lot of stamina, though, to actually get up.
complete map of Hyrule extracted. Oh my goodness. That's all of the Sheikah Towers that activated in the first episode. Finally complete. Amazing. Okay, so I think now we're going to keep going along this path, probably. And I could also use my Sheikah sensor to find a few more shrines that are nearby. If I really need to. And for now, let's just head back over this way. I'm feeling very good after completing all of that now. Oh my goodness. So good. Let's drop down from here. Down a bit more. Oh, and there's some spicy peppers here. Let's go. Oh, don't do that. Oh my goodness, just follow the road. Please. I'm just going to hope that he's going to follow the road and not bang into anything. Let's keep going. Oh, there's an updraft because Farosh is here. Now, last time we shot him at a specific point. Let me try and shoot him in the horn. Oh my goodness, if I can actually shoot. Oh, that's not going to hit where I wanted to hit, but that's okay. Because he's going to drop something. Way to go. He's th oh, it's down there, okay. This should be another scale, if I had to guess. But if you shoot his horn, you actually get something different. And possibly the, um... The, like, spikes on his... Along his body might also give you the same type of thing, maybe? I don't know. Power of scale. Very nice. Just gonna ignore this. And head back to the road, if I can. Oh, there's a shrine nearby. Just what I wanted to know. <laughs> Definitely. Um. Oh my goodness, lightning. Oh, lightning? Lightning. Okay, let's switch to that. Switch to that. This is fine, cool. Just need to be careful of lightning. Now, there's a shrine in this direction. I think I know where it is, so I, I can probably get it. But it's going to involve a little bit of extra work. So let's just use Rivali's Gale, which also lingers around after you use it, so don't feel too bad about using it too much. Now, I'm going to actually put on my Zora tunic so I can swim up this waterfall and I think somewhere oh is that a Korok down there? I think that's a Korok down there let's go down again and on the other side of the waterfall just there Excuse you, game. I'm trying to do a thing. Swim upward. Can I cancel? No, I cannot. I wish I could cancel out. Also, that's probably the shrine up there that I need to look at. So let me try to go down slowly. Oh. Oh. That's a, that's a chest. Okay then, game. Thunderstorm Rod, a magical rod that can hurl three balls of electricity at once. Its gem contains electricity. I'm pretty sure I've read this before. <sighs> Durability up plus. Okay, I'm just going to leave that. And I'm going to actually head up because I know what I need to do. Swim upward. Thank you. And I'm going to actually heal. A full recovery could work. But I still feel like that's slightly a waste. That's good. 
Okay, so... We saw something up here. And if we manage to actually climb up this, which I'm probably not going to be able to, so let me just use Revali's Gale for simplicity. Last one. But if we go over to this, it's got a very specific markings on it. And now, if we drop... Uh, what do I want to drop? Hang on. I hear... I hear him. Where is he? I'm sure he would like to tell me. But where is he? Hang on. Oh, there he is. Let me go say hello. Very impressive. Not many could make it up here in such rain. I'd expect no less from a well-worn traveler like yourself. Me? I stay nice and dry. My feathers repel the rain rather well. And my instrument was designed to withstand extreme moisture. When your livelihood revolves around ancient songs, you've got to be prepared for a few raindrops. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Excellent, without further ado. When a lost hero calls down lightning from the sky. The monk responds from a giant mound on high. There's a puzzle in this somewhere, but as far as I can tell, it could apply to a great many things. Anyway, may the light shine ever on your path. Oh, the light will shine. The Song of Storm- A Song of Storms. Good reference to the Song of Storms. That's just- That's very obviously that, so. Anyway. It's lightning all the time up here, apparently. So let's just climb up this if I can. And then, getting all the way up, let's just... Let's just drop... Oh, so many good things I don't want to lose. Let's just drop my Thunderblade. It's going to attract the lightning. So let's stand back from that. And just let it do its thing. We should be able to hear it when it starts to get to that point. Oh, there we go. And then having that be struck by lightning allows us to go through here and we get our Thunderblade black back. Although it's probably a bit, um, a bit rough around the edges. It did take a lightning strike at full force. Another blessing. Rubber tights. These invaluable tights are resistant to electricity. They're made with something called rubber, an ancient technology that no longer exists in this modern age. So we get shock resistance from wearing that, which is pretty good. There it goes. Another shrine complete. Okay, and now back down to the road because we still want to go along that. We just got pulled aside by the, uh, the Sheikah sensor doing its thing. 
This place is pretty good. Also, at the earliest point in the morning, Farosh comes across the bridge here. So if you need to get stuff from Farosh, you can just do it basically right here. I passed the road, didn't I? Okay. That's the edge of the jungle area. And now, I think... Where am I? I think I want to go turn up this path. Probably seems like a good plan. Let's just turn right now. Which is taking us in a very different direction, I guess. Oh, I didn't... Uh, no, I didn't mean to turn off here. Oh my goodness, I'm... Bad with directions, apparently. Anyway, back this way. Now that I actually realize what I'm doing. Let's follow this path. So nice. And I love the rain as well. It's not annoying me at the moment, so it's fine. Fury is ready. Well, that's good to know. Also, I didn't mean to jump off my horse. Just go. Let's try to dash, but press the wrong button. But anyway, we've nearly made it down to the sea. So... Welcome... to Lurin Village. Which I'm pretty sure is a fishing pun. This place is very chill. And it also just happens... Where is it? I know it's around here. It also happens. Come on, come on. Don't make me a liar. It's probably up here. Also, I don't know why this map is so zoomed at the moment. Possibly because I'm in town. But if we go up here, I believe there's another shrine for us. Let's do it. Okay, what have we got? A weighty decision. Well, this isn't that bad, so... We just need to... move the weight on the scales so that it gives us an advantage. Let's actually take this block with us, because I don't think you're supposed to take it with you, but we definitely can. Also, I'm gonna just... Excuse you, what do you think you're doing? Just do that. Don't have space for another Guardian Sword, but that's okay. Now let's move that over to there. And this door's locked. So I'm gonna guess that this is a, uh... This is a key? No. But that's okay. Knight's Broadsword. Long throw. But my inventory's full again. Yay! Well, this is about to break anyway, so let's just drop that. And grab this. I don't know why I'd need a long throw weapon, though. Let's take this chest and press down... Oh, I can't with that. No, I can. I'm just crazy. Now, I'm gonna take this block with me. Because that's probably gonna break a few things. Possibly, if I remember this place correctly. How are we doing for treasure? Not all of it yet. Because it's right over there. Okay, well... Let's weigh that down. I might even grab that treasure chest again. Not there yet. Over here. Just 
just gonna put that up there. And now, let's way down that side. Oh my goodness, that's, no, oh my goodness. Let's try that again. Push that down. And then, no, no, no. Weigh that down. Weigh that down. Oh my goodness, that's not what I was trying to do. I'm just throwing things all over the place and really messing everything up. Press that down. Grab this. Opal. That's all the chests in the shrine. Oh, come on. Now, I can actually probably just do that, so that works. This is not at all how you're supposed to do this, but it's working out really well for me. Let's just drop that on there, and then we'll just be up here now. Cool. And there we go. And that is it for this episode of Legends out of Breath of the Wild, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.